Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So, are you feeling uninspired or unmotivated and you can't bring yourself to create art? Well, then you are in the right place because today I'm going to share with you my best practices to get inspired and to basically never lose inspiration. If that sounds good to you, let's begin. I also have a special announcement for you that I will make at the end of the video. So please listen till the end. And while I'm sharing my tips with you, you will be seeing me creating an oil painting in my art studio. The first step is really important. I'm going to stress this point because it's necessary before you can do anything else. So the first and foremost thing that you have to do is finding out the reasons why you are feeling unmotivated. Maybe this is a no-brainer for you, but I mention it because creating art is such an intuitive process that we usually don't analyze our feelings while we are at it. We just go with the flow and when the flow suddenly stops, we are confused as to why that happened. It took me a long time until I understood my own thought processes. So I want to help you with that, if you have never done anything like that before. I have a little disclaimer before we begin though. If you suffer from depression or any other mental illness, then my advice might not work for you because it's very difficult to find motivation if you are mentally unwell. I can only speak from my own experience and what works for me, just so you know. But if you want to try anyway, let's do a little thought exercise to find out the reasons behind your art block. So close your eyes and think of creating a new piece of art. Which emotions do you feel when you picture yourself painting or drawing? Are all these emotions positive or do you feel negative emotions too? Concentrate on the negative ones for a second. For example, do you feel overwhelmed, anxious, jealous, stressed or something along these lines? If that's the case, then there is something that causes these emotions and hinders you from feeling good about creating art. Now you need to find out where these feelings come from. Obviously, since I don't know you personally, I can't give you an individual advice. So you have to dig a little bit yourself. However, I can share some common problems that I believe many people experience and I will try to offer solutions on how to deal with them. I'm gonna list now a couple of reasons why you might feel unmotivated and what you could do about it. So here comes the first one. You just don't know what to paint or you have no ideas. So here's what you can do about that. If you haven't already, create a digital or physical folder for your inspirations and fill it with all the things you find inspiring photography, paintings, sculptures, and whenever you find something inspiring, don't forget to save it in there. You will also need a folder for your references. That can include, for example, flowers, animals, photos of people and poses, backgrounds, and so on. Pictures that you need for putting together a composition, basically. Always work on these folders and update them regularly whenever you browse the internet and find something useful. Now, when you want to find inspiration, look up your inspiration folder and pick a couple of inspirations that you find particularly beautiful and analyze what you like about them. Is it the colors, the brush strokes, the composition, the model, the lighting or the outfit? Make notes and then design your own thing with the help of your reference folder and your inspirations. You will find that this process is challenging, but very exciting at the same time. In case you have already created lots of artworks, you can also get inspired by your own works too. When you feel a piece of art is particularly strong, you might create a series from it, do it in different ways and explore its style. Another way to get more inspired is to surround yourself physically with inspiring things. Making art in a dull workspace is no fun, so put a little bit of thought into your surroundings and create a space with objects that you find inspiring. For example, plants, prints, toys, fabrics, maybe even a skull. And now, whenever you look around, you might already get some ideas about what you can create. 
Combine that with the first method and voila, you should be able to come up with at least some ideas. But I have yet another method for you to spark your inspiration. Change or expand the mediums that you are using. This will automatically bring you out of your comfort zone. And I don't mean you have to paint in oils out of a sudden if you have never done that before. Although you could try that, of course. I speak of little changes. They can have a huge impact already. For example, instead of painting on white watercolor paper, why not trying to paint on toned paper instead and add markers and other pencils to your painting process? Change the size or add stickers to your work. This will open your eyes and you will immediately see more possibilities for your art. In case you felt bored by approaching an artwork always in the same way, you will now be challenged. Here's an example of how I make my painting process more exciting. Here I added stickers to the painting. This one is a collage with various washi and flower stickers and multiple mediums. And on this one I used golden pens to enhance a simple portrait. Do you see how you can turn a maybe simple motif into something more exciting now? And if you want to know even more ways to get inspired, I highly recommend you checking out today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you and me. They have topics like illustration, design, video making, freelancing and so much more. All members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with projects that you can do at home. I just took a class about inspiration from Leah Gorin, which is called Illustration and Inspiration, Keeping a Sketchbook. And it was so inspiring. Now I want to get out my own sketchbook and try out all the cool things that she suggested. Her lessons explain how you can take inspiration from your everyday life and turn this into beautiful art pieces in an easy and beginner-friendly approach. I can't wait to try it out myself. If you want to try this or one of the many lessons too, just follow the link in the video description. The first thousand people get a two months of premium membership for free. Now let's move on to another reason why you might feel uninspired. There are too many good artists out there and you don't think you can ever reach their level. My advice here is, don't stress about it. I know if you are a beginner artist, this might be especially hard for you, but no one ever was born a master and everyone needed years to get to a certain level. You have probably heard this a thousand times already, but you will get there too, if that is what you really want. If you put enough energy and time into anything, you will eventually become extremely good at it. It's a struggle, but it's possible. You can do it. And keep in mind, you don't need to become a master. Just get as good as you personally want to get. I'm not a master either, but I'm happy with my skills and you will be too when you reach a point that makes you happy. I can speak from my experience here. In the beginning, I couldn't paint at all and I felt horrible about myself all the time. But the more I improved, the better I felt. Eventually, and this took me several years, I just stopped caring and I realized I had reached a point where I was finally happy with how my art looked. Okay, now let's continue with the next reason why you don't feel like making art. Maybe your last artwork turned out disappointing. Here's my advice for you. You might need more practice or you rushed the painting and now it's a little bit messed up. But either way, the good thing you can do now is painting the exact painting again. <laughs> I know, you don't want to do it. And to be honest, I don't want to do it either when it happens to me. But sometimes it's kind of the only way to feel good about your art again. And if you don't know what's wrong with your painting, um, you can go to a mirror and look at your work. You will probably immediately see a couple of problems. And in case you are lucky to have artist friends who can help you, go ask them for critique. I know critique can be hard to hear, but it might solve your problem. Especially if you can't get this artwork out of your mind and you don't know what's wrong with it. So paint it several times until it finally works out. 
And when the moment finally comes and you make it work, the sense of accomplishment you will experience will be worth it. And it will fuel you with confidence and energy for your next work. Next one. You are happy with your art, but on Instagram it only gets a few likes and you don't want to make art if it's not appreciated. Well, first of all, you need to figure out why you are making art. If you just create art because the process alone makes you happy, you don't need to share it on social media at all. The only appreciation you need is the one you get from yourself. If you are happy with your art, what more do you need? Only because other people don't like your art or tell you that you aren't good enough doesn't mean you have to listen to them. You can make as much art as you like and you can be the only person on the whole planet who appreciates it. That is completely fine. Now, if you want to become a professional artist or make a living from your art someday, then building an audience on social media is undoubtedly very helpful. But unfortunately, social media doesn't favor each art style equally. Some styles and certain motifs will always get more attention than others. You can either try to adapt and paint more popular things or stay true to your preferences. In many cases, artists on social media find a sweet spot where they paint what is generally well perceived and what they personally like. It takes some time to figure out what works best for you. And keep in mind that in the beginning, it takes longer to build a following than if you have already built a larger audience. So if you feel uninspired, because your art is not appreciated or will maybe never be because the style is just not popular on Instagram, remember that this doesn't mean that your art is not good enough. It can be the reason, but I know lots of talented artists who only get a hundred likes or even less on an Instagram post, even though their art is magnificent. You could try out other social media platforms like Twitter or YouTube, change your style a bit or quit social media altogether and sell your art offline. Just don't be on Instagram if it doesn't work for you. Learn how to sell your art on conventions, markets or even open a real art shop somewhere. Social media is one very powerful tool, but it doesn't work for everyone. And lots of highly successful artists aren't even on social media. So don't let it get in the way of your creation process as an artist. And that being said, I hope you found these practices helpful and different from what you usually see on YouTube. This video was rather challenging for me to write because not only are there many more reasons to feel uninspired and therefore many more solutions to overcome it, it might very well be that your problem wasn't listed in the ones I talked about. In addition to that, I also feel I could have written an entire essay for each of the points I mentioned. So if you want to get another edition of this, with more ways to overcome an art block, just let me know in the comment section. Are you inspired now? Did this video help you maybe a little bit to overcome your art block? I hope it did. And now let's come to the announcement. If you like the painting that you have seen in this video, um, then it is your chance to hang it on your wall because I created this beautiful limited edition fine art print of Penelope. This is the title of the painting. It is inspired by Greek mythology and each of these prints are hand embellished by me personally with golden acrylics and glitter, which will turn each print into a unique piece of art. The prints are signed and numbered and once they are sold out, they won't be reprinted again as a fine art print. So if you want to purchase one of them, just follow the link in the video description to my online shop and get yours before they sell out. I wish you a wonderful painting day and I see you in the next video. Bye bye!